Hey guys, this is Rise and I'm here with Cholera bringing you the rest of the OSL series between By Hero and Washin. If you just watched our Series 1 game, Set 1, uh, you would have seen that By Hero and Washin had a ridiculously GG. I mean, By Hero looked like he was winning, then he looked like Washin was winning, and then By Hero completely turned things around and won the game in spectacular fashion. And uh, Washin actually just looked outplayed in that game. But of course, Washin, a great Terran player, especially against Zerg in the 60 ish percentile range against Zerg players, and uh, By Hero, about 50% win rate against Terran players. So, you know, statistics wise Washington looks to be the favorite he's got a lot of TVZ games under his belt and uh, you know I expect him to put up a good fight even on a map like Medusa which is slightly Zerg favored uh, over a good amount of games so we do know that it really is Zerg favored at this point uh, either way I think this is going to be a very good game and I can only hope that we have a sliver of what we saw in the last game Collar, you have any predictions on who may be able to pull this win out of their hat I, I, you know, I think if By Hero does what he did last time, you know, start up with a good Mutalist Harask and then follow up with solid late game play, I think he is a huge favorite here. On the other hand, if Hwasen can come up with something uh, out of his sleeve, you know, out of the ordinary here, I think he ha has a shot of evening up the series. I will say, though, you know, the reason why I'm favoring uh, Zero, I mean, not Zero, <laughs> Hero, not Zero, <laughs> Definitely not zero in so many ways, uh, but <laughs> the ways I won't mention right now. But um, Hero, uh, you know, showed just such good play, and like you were saying, this map is Zerg favored. Look and, at his uh, ass. Boston, yeah, I know. He's 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 <laughs> he's so manly. He's got pictures of his butt in clad in white linen pants. That's hot. Um, but yeah, <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, Hwasen, looking know. emo there in that picture. God, stop interrupting me with these posters, man. Ah, fan, Hwasen fangirl. All right, um, Hwasen uh, is good with Medic Marines, but this is a good map for mech or for uh, drop play, uh, uh, you know, at the very least. And uh, I've not yet seen Hwasen go mech, so we'll see if he decides to go mech for, like, the first time ever at this game. Yeah, and, and this map just... just totally lends itself to very fun play to watch and to commentate. You know, Zerg players use the temples, they try to break in the back with some lurkers, or maybe they go something like uh, we saw in some other games that we just did, Luxury vs. Fantasy, for instance, where we saw a very interesting play, but I think that might have been too soon to spoil, so I'll try to stay away from talking about that. Either way, this game is just, you know, this map is just leads for great games, and uh, I can't wait. It looks like we have A versus B here. Who knows what the hell this means? I so wish I could read these sides oh my god they're probably so funny we could laugh and laugh and no uh you know what we got to start having people <laughs> submit english signs you know and and we'll like post them up in the middle of the video or sp splice them in and we'll pretend we're talking about them i don't that would never work actually sorry another a b sign <laughs> I'm totally missing something here. I don't know what. Either way, we're seeing a fast expansion coming from um, Washington. Actually, was that a 14 CC? Wow, that, I think that was oh, a 14 wow. CC. That went down before the barracks, actually. And yeah. wow, look at this. He's actually going to go for a mech build as well. So Washington doing what Washington doesn't do. He's going for a mech build. That is awesome. And it looks like um, <laughs> this is getting scouted, at least the fast expansion. Uh, the, the mech side of it has not been scouted. Washington's going to be able to set up a wall, though, before that drone's able to get in. So that drone, uh, I, or I should say, by hero, will be playing in the dark. Although he's got an overlord heading in there, so he will get a scout very shortly. Uh, and Washington's little feint over here, or whatever you want to call it, hiding his, uh, trying to hide his build, is, is going to be discovered. And we'll have to see, you know, what what we uh, what by hero decides to go to react to this build because certainly uh, it's going to be tough if he doesn't get himself I mean 14 CC is just going to give the player the advantage real quick the terror yeah. player if he can hold the defenses against whatever uh, by hero can throw at him so we'll have to see what by hero decides to go to try to fight this off well, I'm glad by hero. Um, I'm sure by hero is glad he's gone for a fast two hatch layer uh, because a three hatch gets destroyed by 14 command, command center economically. Um, looks like he's going to put down his third hatch now, but uh, he did get his tech before started before then, so um, it's still a two hatch layer, and that timing is still very good for him. 
However, Hwasen definitely has a lead right now in this game. He's going tech, and I just, I thought that was ball, all kinds of balls there. Uh, the no scout 14 command center into gas. <laughs> I mean, that is just, awesome. you know, you're just basically reading your opponent. You're just reading his hand, basically. You're just saying, I'm going to read your entire hand, even though I have no idea what you've done. It's like, basically, he gets two cards, and you're like, uh, you've got pocket jacks. And he's like, what? What? How'd you do that? How? And he's like, I'm Hwasen. And, and you know, there's nothing more <laughs> you can say about it. Hwasen just totally read him like a book. And uh, he's going to go for a fast armory here. So he's going to go for that Terran nice. Protoss build. He's going to go for the Protoss Terran. Uh, and I like calling it the Protoss Terran because it's basically you get a ton of Goliaths and you aim move them into the Zerg space. And since he's gotten that early economic edge, he should be able to pull this off, even against Mutalisks. Uh, because, you know, if he had went for it, barracks into CC, into into factory, he would be that much slower. It wouldn't work really that well against two hatched Mutas. But since he went 14 Command Center, which is like the god of all Terran versus Zerg builds, if you can pull it off, uh, if you don't get killed in the early game, I think he will be okay. And it looks like his timing is pretty good. I mean, he's got that eBay going up, and I was a little worried for a second that the uh, Spire was going to be up way before he got any anti-air stuff prepared. Uh, we are going to see Muta popping out right now. It's going to be close. That eBay is not even halfway done, maybe just getting halfway done at this point. Uh, looks like... Um, it's definitely completing, but look at that. I mean, we're seeing three factories, and I can only imagine that those are Charons being upgraded as the uh, yep. um, Aeron is, is working at something. And now, I mean, we're going to see what looks to be nine Muta popping out and trying to do harass. And again, Washington doesn't have anything up yet, so I'm a little concerned that he may be a little uh, behind in trying to get some turrets up, but uh, uh, Goliath popping out. A couple of Goliaths right now. Turrets are going up. This is going to be perfect timing, actually, after all. And I think he's going to be able to fight this off. We'll have to see how good by Heroes Mutalus Caress is this time. We saw last game it was amazing, uh, but this game it's going to be up against a different set of units, a different unit combination. It's not going to be against Medic Marines and straggling ones at that from the last game, but it is going to be against some heavily upgraded Goliaths with that range. And I mean, it's going to be very difficult to break uh, through any of the defenses here, I think, although he could focus on the wall, break the wall, and try to run something in. And at this point, we got there are the Goliaths. They're going to take some shots. But oh, oh man, one of the Goliaths is going to go down real quick. The second one going to go down as well. The question oh. is, is he going to be wow. able to continue it? It looks like Carabooses have not been upgraded yet. He's continuing to take them out slowly. And Hawashin actually in a little bit of trouble here. Oh. Wow, I gotta say, this is, once again, brilliant micro here from uh, Zero, although I am concerned that Hwasen is pumping out of three factories. I don't know exactly the economics of it, but I don't think the Zerg can win this battle with just Aaron. And uh, yeah, this is what I was expecting to see, a transition into Hydralisks, and uh, probably getting some upgrades, thinking about playing a longer game. He's probably going to go for three or four, uh, sorry, four or five hatch Hydras. But this is the thing here, look at this. Hwasen <laughs> knows that he has the advantage. He's putting down five facts and uh, a lot of turrets of course so the, the mutilus harass was successful i gotta say it was as good as you could do uh because you can't really do that much against you know that many goliaths and that many uh turrets but um you know Hwasen still i would say has a bit of a lead although zero now is ex i mean hero hero not zero he's a hero not a zero <laughs> Uh, Hero is now expanding at the top position, picking up his uh, his fourth base, and uh, if he can hold that, he can he can even out this game. You know, well, it's it's not that he's that behind, but I mean, he can make sure he survives against the uh, Terran mid game push, which is going to be really strong. I don't know, man. I'm looking at this game, and I'm thinking to myself, Washington is going to just completely own this kid at this point. He didn't do much economic damage. He took out a few Goliaths, which is great and all, but except he didn't manage to do anything past there. If he had transitioned to, um, well, transitioning tech is important, but if he had managed to do some economic damage at the same time taking out those Goliaths, he would have been in a great position. But at this time, I'm going to actually argue that he is at a definite disadvantage. Those Goliaths are pushing out very early. They they definitely have one their power boost to upgrade. He's got, yeah, one armor. So, I mean, this is going to be a very interesting build. I don't know if... Oh, and going to take out uh, an Overlord or two as well as... Oh, my God. Look at this. He's just streaming the lights at this point. And I don't know if he's even going to go back to his base to defend or not. He could just continue to reinforce because he's got five freaking factories. So, what, nice alliteration right there. And uh, he's just going up against Hydras at this point. And, and I think he could almost A-move into the base. I mean, he's going to be uh, going to have to do a little bit of 
bike ruling, but but really, look at that powerful force. That is a very large uh, early Goliath force, and, and those Muta are not going to be able to stand up to it. The only thing that a hero can hope to do at this point is have a nice sandwich with the Hydras and the Mutas at the same time, but his timing is a little off, and either way, I think that his yeah. Hydras are not in a good position. The Concave is on them, and all he's got to do is back off like he's doing exactly. He's not even taking shots from the Hydra right now. He's doing a lot of damage to the Muta. The Muta going to go down. The Muta are actually taking out the Goliaths now at this point, but look at the reinforcements. Plus five Goliaths. He's going to be able to take oh, out the wow. rest of those Mutas. Those Karen upgrades are just killing everything. That range boost is just ridiculous. And now Huashin, I can only, I, I, I feel like he's firmly in the lead. I, I got to say. Yeah, if he can pick off this base up here, uh, and, and Hero doesn't seem to know that he's going up there. If he can pick it off, the game's pretty much in Hwasin's hands. Uh, there are three sunken colonies, though. Sunkens are not that great against... Um uh, I'm sorry, Glides are not that great against Sunken, sorry. Uh, Glides really need to be high in number to deal with Sunken Colonies. Um, but, you know, right now more upgrades going up for those Gauls, and uh, Zero doesn't seem like he's got much of an answer here. You know, a permanent solution. Sunkens are not a permanent solution. Once tanks come out, uh, that's going to be the end of them. And he's going to go mass Hydras here, so he's going to need to force a def decisive battle in the middle um, and take out Hwasin's mech. Otherwise, he's going to fall farther and farther behind because he's not going to go for it seems that he's not going for early hive or anything like that, so he's going to stick to this tier 2, and Terran tier 2 is better than Zerg tier 2. And we've seen this time and time again. Uh, every time yep. that a, a Zerg player stays in tier 2, he gets Yuck. honed in the face. Yeah, man, exactly. I mean, we, we've seen it so <laughs> many times. Uh, I've, I, I actually thought it was Hero that I remember doing it last time on, on uh, Return of... No, Tears of the Moon. And he got owned by uh, uh, Terran going mech. Maybe it was a different player. I, I can't remember, to be honest. And, and we just see that the Terran mech, as they build up, as they continue to upgrade, you know, they just get ridiculous. He's got plus one armor on those Muta, which, to uh, be honest, I don't think are going to help very much. He does have a good number of Muta, but at this point, there are so many Goliaths out there, it's not going to matter. It's also plus one on attack for those Hydras. The tanks are out, wow. though, at this point. And, I mean, the Muta are going to have a tough time trying to get to those tanks and pick them off. But even if they do manage to pick them off, he's going to incur such heavy losses because, again, those Karen boosters are just going to tear them apart that I don't think he's going to even benefit from it. I mean, we're just going to see the same thing. Washington's going to reinforce his metal army. He's got that five factories just pumping. If he ever does, I, I don't even think he's going to decide to expand it anytime. I, th I think that he's really so firmly in, in, in the lead at this point that he's not even going to think twice about it. And again, I mean, uh, here doing a good job picking off reinforcements. But look at that. Even those five Goliaths going to do a lot of damage to those Mutas. Uh, and those Mutas yeah. look like they're actually going to back off as he just micros his way back to the turrets. And, and at this point, he's probably just going to use that crazy Terran ball and push in. Oh man, this is going to be brutal. It looks like they are going to clash in the middle here. Uh, Hero needs to aim for the uh. tanks though. He needs his Hydras to survive. Tanks, one tank goes down, but there's still more at the top there. Hero's Hydras look like they're not making a breakthrough here. The Goliaths are just too strong. But no, I could be wrong. No, I'm not wrong. Looks like, ah, <laughs> uh, this is going to be close. Hydra's coming in. Actually, it's much closer than I thought it would be. But looks like Hero has lost the battle here. Most importantly, he lost all of his Mutalisks. Those are his most expensive and important units here. The Hydra's are just the grunts. And now it looks like Hwasen is going to uh, push in right now and try to end this game really quickly. He just, he doesn't, not even bother sieging up here. Looks like, uh, <laughs> yeah, A move. Terran A move here. Um, you know, the Protoss Terran build here. And uh, looks like he's going to probably do very well here. Oh, man, Hero critically losing a couple of overlords, too. That's not good. Although, actually, no, it's not going to be a big deal because he has almost no food count. But uh, he really <laughs> is in a bad shape right now. And now that last sunk is going to go down, and Hero knows it's over. He just saw the look on his face. He swallowed, looked a little timid there, and uh, he's sending in the rest of the units he has, kind of suiciding them, basically, one at a time, piecemeal, which never works. And uh, we're, we're guaranteed a GG from him in the next five seconds. Four, three, two... One. GG! Nice. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Sweet. So, uh, Hero, I gotta say, he did do a pretty good job. He put up a pretty good fight there. Uh, and, and really, I just think that he made the wrong decision in his choices in staying in the Tier 2 tech that we've seen time and time again that never works. Washington doing a great job showing us that he does have mech capability to win a game too. So, uh, we're going on to a game 3 for this match and should be a GG. 
Yeah, I mean, I just want to point out, if you if you fight against Terra Mech here on this map, you got to do what Gigi Play did a long time ago. Remember last season against Flash? Gigi yeah. Play destroyed Flash on this map by just expanding, 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 building uh, a lot of lings, upgrading them, and then eventually getting Ultralisks. Now, Gigi Play, of course, did a l even more damage with this Mulus Price, if I believe correctly. Yeah, he did. And uh, he just, you know, it was a slightly different game. However, I think his idea was the right idea. Just put up more expansions, man. The Terran can't kill them all, and uh, you know, and just when you when you move out, move out with Lings and Ultras. Don't move out with Hydras and Mutas because uh, the Hydralisks, frankly, just get eaten by Goliaths and tanks. Um, they're only a stopgap measure, and you know, 36 of them are not better than the equivalent minerals and gas from the Terran. I mean, they're just not cost efficient. Period. Um, so anyway, though, uh, good game, and uh, we'll be moving on to the closing game. Set three is going to determine it in this best of three here between these two. Awesome. See you guys there. GG.